Hey there, my name's Theo, and I'm here to do another gear review for you. Today, we're going to talk about this guy, the MXR ISO Brick. It's a fantastic power supply. I love it. I have several of them, and I'm going to show you why. I'm building another pedal board, so I needed another ISO Brick. I found this blue coil kit on Amazon, and it comes not only with the ISO Brick, but a bunch of extra little goodies. And who doesn't like goodies, right? In here you get some picks, you get these cable management velcros, these are awesome, especially if you're running a couple of cables over to your pedal board, you know, like maybe your input and then a send and receive to the amp and you want to keep those together so they're not, you know, cords everywhere. These cable management ties are fantastic, I can never have enough of them, so it put a smile on my face when I seen these in the kit. Also got some patch cables that came with it from Blue Coil, and then a 10 foot patch cable. I'll throw a link to that kit below. So let's see what we have in the box. In the box, we get an MXR sticker, quick user guide, limited warranty card, and the user card. Most importantly, we get our ISO brick itself, the DC cables, and our 18 volt power supply. In our DC cables box, we get 10 DC patch cords. In the 18 volt adapter box, we get an 18 volt adapter that is US plug set. And then we also get plugs for the rest of the world. So no matter where you are, MXR has your back with the right connectors. And the star of the show, the ISO brick. Let's dig into some details. This ISO brick is awesome. Built to last, full aluminum case, really quality build unit here. This unit comes with 10 fully isolated outputs. Six of those are 9 volt, two of which are 450 milliamp, two are 300 milliamp, and two are 100 milliamp. It also has two 18 volt outputs that can handle 250 milliamps each. And the awesome part about this power brick is it has two variable outputs that range from 6 volts to 15 volts. These are fantastic for custom pedals that allow you to modify your input voltage to get a different sound out of the pedal. For instance, I've got a fuzz pedal that I can take down to 6 volts and get a really interesting sound out of it, and then a completely over overdriven sound if I take it up to about 12 volts. Make sure you consult your manufacturer of your pedal to see if the voltage can be adjusted. On top of the power brick, it has two LEDs. A white one will indicate if it has good power input connection, and the red one will tell you if you have a short or a bad input connection. All right, let's demonstrate those features. You'll notice as soon as I plug this in, the light will turn red, and then once it finishes its power check, it turns to white. That lets me know that I've got a good signal. I'm getting good, good juice from the power supply. Also, when I plug in my custom badass, and what better pedal to do this than a custom badass, you'll know that my blue light turned blue. And now that I know I have a good connection from my pedal to my power supply. This is a great feature, love it. All right, and that's it, MXR ISO brick. Great power supply, love it. Check below for the Amazon link to the blue coil kit. We'll see you next time, peace.